Hey guys, Silent Thunder here with a quick guide on transmog setup. Basically, transmog gear is anything used to change the look of your character. So it could be green or blue gear, uh, or epics for that matter. But what we focus on selling is uh, the bind on equip stuff, of course, the stuff that can be sold. Um, what I'm using is a good example of something that you can purchase. This is the Hyperion set along with uh, the Blade of Wizardry and just a small shield that I like uh, this one's called Bayo, Bayo Shield um, I know that the Flame Skull Shield goes good with it but uh, I really don't like it so that's why I don't use it and I use the Conqueror's Helmet um, just because I didn't like the Hyperion Helmet so you can play around, build your own sets and have fun with it um, so for the setup, uh, I ha I'm going to give you guys an import list that I use. Uh, it's stuff that I've put together as well as an import list that I also uh, used from, I think Fat Loots is where I first got one of the lists. But there's lots of lists floating around. They're all basically the same. I've actually removed some items that Fat Loots was using and added in some other things that I use. Uh, for example, uh, bracers and stuff. A lot of people say to avoid bracers because they can't be seen. Uh, I have my bracers transmogged. <laughs> Lots of other people will too. Uh, so I actually sell a lot of bracers, so I like to sell them. Uh, so you can remove stuff from this list if you like or, or add in your own things. Uh, it's never 100% complete. Um, I'm always adding or removing things, but uh, it's it's definitely a good starter list for you guys to use. Um, and just I know it's going to be asked, so I'm going to tell you now. Uh, down below in my picture here, it shows just the item on my tune. This is an add-on called Mogit, M-O-G-I-T, Mogit. And uh, there's my set, the Hyperion. No, it's not going to show up for me. Maybe because I'm actually have it equipped. Maybe that's why. But uh, yeah, so basically, transmog gear, anything that you can uh, sell to change the look of your gear. And I'll I'll put this import list. I'll put a link to it in the description below. And as far as the operations go for transmog gear, posting operation or an auctioning operation. Um, I like to post mine for 48 hours. If you're just starting out, I would probably recommend maybe 24 hours. And um, just because of undercutters, there is going to be some competition in this market more than likely. Um, post cap, I have mine set at 10 because there's items that I know that are popular that I'll buy lots of them. I'll buy more than two or three. Um, typically, if it's an item that's not a fast mover or uh, I'm just trying out, I normally won't buy more than two. And if you're just getting into the market for the first time, I'm going to recommend you do the same. Don't buy more than two of an item until you get a feel for the market uh, and see if, if it's going to be right for you. Um, so post cap, your, yours should probably be two for now. Stack size doesn't matter, it doesn't stack. Uh, bid percent, I like to do 80%. Um, this way, if somebody's posting and their bid percent might be 90 or even 85%, 95%, mine's still going to show up first by a standard search unless they're using an add-on to search for it. Um, so I like to keep mine at a lower bid percent. And also, if I'm selling a transmog item for a thousand gold, I probably only paid a hundred gold or less for it anyway, so I'm still going to be happy taking 800 gold for that item. I'd rather sell it and have some gold to buy more. Now, the posting formulas, don't let them overwhelm you. They are big formulas, but it, they're actually very simple if you break it down. There's three different numbers in here. There's 25% of DB market. 70% of WoW Auction Region, or 150 gold. 
what it's doing is just going to take the maximum of those three numbers and uh, my minimum normal and maximum basically follow the same rules and uh, I'll post I'll post these um, down below in the description for you to borrow as well and you can adjust those sometimes I increase my percent of DB market uh, I've changed this from 140 down to 120 because I control a lot of my market um, so if I'm the only one posting transmog gear and I'm always posting it at 140 percent of market value and my add-on scanning 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 my items eventually this uh, the DB market value goes up <laughs> just because of me so um, you can raise this number or lower it and just feel it out for yourself and see what works for you uh, I like to post mine at the normal price quite often people will post gear cheaper I like to keep mine on there they'll either see mine for a higher price and take theirs off and relist it or maybe theirs will expire and mine will sell or maybe theirs will sell and then mine will sell either way I like to have it on the auction house um, also I don't have a lot of space to keep all my transmog gear so I store it on the auction house and that's part of the reason why I keep my post cap at 10 alright so that being said if you do break into the transmog market uh, just be aware that it's a it's a it can be a very slow market especially starting out uh, if you buy 10 or 20 pieces don't expect something to sell right away some pieces take months to sell uh, just be very patient uh, try to get some of everything available even if it's only one or two pieces of each just try to expand get a uh, get as much as you can available on there for sale and uh, just the, the most important thing is be patient don't don't sit there and let that be the only thing that you're selling and get frustrated if you don't sell a piece every day or even in the first week uh, eventually when you get enough on there you'll start selling pieces and uh, sometimes it can be very re rewarding um, just today for me for example I seen a piece sell catalyst leggings so a green transmog item now I don't pay more than 100 gold for my transmog gear so uh, this this piece here I sold for 3448 gold and that was just a few hours ago um, so I would have paid at most 100 gold so this is like 3350 gold profit very rewarding but you just have to be patient eventually you'll get one of these big big sales like this and uh, see it for yourself so I sold that about four hours ago almost five hours ago uh, again just be patient with your transmog gear it's all like I, I can't stress that enough and uh, I will post these this import list for transmog as well as uh, the operations that I use down below and if you have any questions stop by the stream feel free to ask me um, I stream daily and I'll put a link for that down below as well anyway hope you liked the video and uh, if you're not subscribed please do and uh, I will have some more videos coming out soon